In this video, we're going to do a demo of the Magento Commerce B2B modules. We're going to set up a simple shared catalog where wholesale customers and retail customers can see the same products but with their individual pricing. If you don't already know how to set up this feature, check out the last video for Magento Commerce B2B modules where we discussed enabling the modules and creating the companies. In preparation for this demo, I already created a couple of demo products. So we're going to head over to the catalog and then to the shared catalogs. Initially, we just see the default catalog. So we're gonna go ahead and add a shared catalog. We'll go ahead and set the first one up for wholesalers. Ignore this tax class, that's not part of this demo. And save. And then we're gonna add one for the retail customers. and save. Now that we have two shared catalogs, we'll set the pricing and the structure for each catalog. So now that we're at the catalog structure, we click configure, and uh, first off, we can decide which products we want to be enabled in general. Uh, so for wholesalers, we're gonna focus on these banking remote deposit machines. I'm going to set those as both available. Next. Now we're going to give them a discount. As you can see here, you could do a fixed price discount, but we're going to do a percentage discount. We're going to do 50% to give them a nice hefty margin to make money. Now we'll generate the catalog, and then we have to save it as well. Now that concludes creating the wholesaler, so we'll do the same thing for the retailer. Retail customers are going to be able to buy both of those same machines. We're not going to worry about giving them other products, but as you can see, it would be very easy to give them, give them different products completely or just a mix of variations of the same products. Because this is a retail customer, we don't need to change the price. But what we could do is create a tiered price here so that if they buy more than one, say two or more, they could get it for $1,200. Generate, save. Now that we've added the shared catalogs, the next thing is to assign companies to those catalogs. So we're gonna head to the assign companies window by default, for some reason, it puts in this filter. Not sure why, I'm gonna remove that filter so I can see my companies. And this is the wholesalers, so I'm gonna put in the banking solutions there. I'm gonna assign that company. I'm gonna save and go back and do the same thing for the end users, put them in the retailer category. Quick overview again, assign companies assign the end users in this case, and save. Now that the companies have been assigned to their shared catalogs, let's look at the shopper's experience on the front of the website. None of the products we added were set to be in the default public catalog, so our demo store requires a login. First, we'll log in as the Acme banking boss, the wholesale customer, and we'll go to remote deposit machines. Here we see our remote deposit machines and we see that they are indeed heavily discounted. It shows the discounted price and the regular price. Now we'll go ahead and log out of the wholesaler and we'll log back in as the retail user or the end user in this case. The retail user sees the same home page, but this could be customized. We're gonna go to remote deposit machines and here we see the retail price. In the case of the medium machine, we did add the tiered price for as low as $1,200, so the user can click through to see more details. Otherwise, the shopping experience is the same. Of course, with Magento, the options are endless on configurations and customizations, but that concludes this basic overview. Feel free to reach out with any questions. I'd be glad to help you out. You can get me david at variox.com or you can give me a call anytime. I'll be glad to help you out.